Hello, boys and girls. This uh, story today, we're going to talk about what is folk tales. And <clears throat> that's what, if we had been at school this week, we would have talked about fairy tales and folk tales. And we would have read some of your favorites um, that uh, you have read since you were very small. And today our story is called The Nice Mitten. The sound that we are working on this week is soft C and soft G. Now, up until this point, we have said that C had one sound, and it was the K sound, uh, like K. And But um, we talked earlier in the year how that that would change uh, as we got uh, closer to Christmas. And here we are working on the soft C and the soft G. As you saw earlier today um, in the lesson that you watched about how to sound out and blend some of these words together. We'll be doing that each day and I want you to um, look in this story and as we are reading each page um, I want you to stop. We'll stop at the end of each page. I will let you point and although I can't hear you I will let you point to one soft C word and one soft G word and say those just as if we were in class and you were saying them to me and <clears throat> you will um, look for these in the story. Also, we have talked about our sight words. Those will be the yellow words that we will find. We will point to those and we will spell those so we can remember those. Okay, so let's begin our story. I hope that you have your book in front of you and you have opened up to page 54 so that we can read together. Remember, one of the most important things that we do as readers is we point to the words as we are reading. So you track, just like you would in class, you track those words. Okay, the nice mitten. Once upon a time, a boy named Lance went out to pick up sticks. His mom gave him nice red mittens in case his hands got cold. Take the mittens and keep them safe, his mom said. But as Lance left, he ran fast and lost a mitten at the edge of the wide forest. And we see the mitten here. How does that make you feel about him losing the mitten? Let's think together. Do we, when do we think he'll realize his mitten is gone? We will see as we go through the story. I see two of our yellow words for this week. Two words that we always see in fairy tales and folk tales. And the first word is once. Can you put your finger on that and spell that with me? O-N-C-E. Very good. Now, let's find the word upon. Put your finger on that. And let's spell that word. U-P-O-N. Great job. Now, those are two words you're going to see a lot this week. Those are two words that we will see at the beginning of most folk tales and fairy tales. Now, I know that each of you have pointed to a word that had a soft C and a soft G. I wish I could hear all of you, but I'm going to point to one and see if anybody picked this one. Lance is the little boy's name. We see the C-E at the end makes, it, makes the C have the soft C sound like an S. Also, um, we also see that um, we have the word edge. And if we were in school, we would be spelling this word. So edge is E-D-G-E, -E, and we see that D-G-E -E says the soft G sound. Now in our class, the soft G sound is on the J wall card because it says the J sound. Okay, 
let's move on and see if Lance discovers that he has lost his mitten. Follow along with me. Put your fingers under the words as we read together. Five mice saw the mitten. This is a nice place to rest, they said. So the happy mice went in and rested. Then a rabbit raced by. This is a nice place for hiding, she said. So the rabbit went in and hid. The mitten puffed up a bit. Now, let's find our yellow words. Our first yellow word is so. Can you spell that? S-O. Our next yellow word is the word happy. Can you spell the word happy? H-A-P-P-Y. Happy is a word that we use in a lot of our writing. A lot of your sentences, you use the word happy. Now, I'm sure everyone has found the, um, <clears throat> the soft C word and the soft G word. I apologize for being so hoarse today. I have a bad cold. Um, and I, I wish I could hear you, but I know that you said one. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you mine. The first word I see with a soft C sound is mice. It has the C E that help the E helps the C to be the soft sound and it says the sound. And then I am looking. And on this page, we do not have a word that has the soft G sound. So we're going to move on to our um, thinking about the story. And as we thought at the beginning, would he find his mitten? We see now, did he find it before the animals did? No. The mice thought this mitten would be a good place to what? See if you can find that word in the story that tells what that he thought that what the mice thought this would be a good place for. Did you put your finger on a place to rest? I hope you did because they thought it would be a nice place to rest. Now what about the rabbit? What did the rabbit think about this um, mitten. And I hope you said he thought it would be a good place for hiding. And hiding is one of our words on this page. Now, does it look like there's any more room for any more animals? Let's see what happens next. Okay, put your fingers under the words with me. Next, a hedgehog came sniffing by. This is a nice place for taking a nap, he said. So the hedgehog went in and slept. The mitten puffed up a bit more. Oh my. And just then, a big bear came by. This is a nice place to get warm, he said. So the big bear went in. The mitten puffed up from all the animals in it. It puffed up as much as a mitten can. Oh my, look at that mitten. Does it even look like a mitten anymore? Okay, I see a yellow word. Can you put your finger on that yellow word? Yes, and the yellow word is from. Spell that word with me. F-R-O-M. This is a word that you will see on a lot of gifts that you will be giving at Christmas and getting at Christmas. Most of the time on tags, it will be to and from. And now you can read that word. Now, find a word that has a soft 
G. Let's look for a soft G word first and say it to me. And then look for a soft C word and say it to me. Okay, now I'll show you the words I picked and you can see if they're words that you picked. I picked the word hedgehog because hedge has that same DGE sound that we looked at in edge. I also picked for my soft C word, I picked the word nice because it has the CE at the end that has the soft C sound. So now what is going to happen? Is, are these animals going to break the mitten? Will the little boy ever find the mitten? Oh, I wish I could hear your thoughts, but I know that they're very good ones. Let's move on and see what is going to happen to our animal friends and if Lance will find his mitten. Put your fingers under the words with me. At last, a black cricket came by. This is a nice place, he said. We do not have any space, said the animals in the mitten. But the black cricket went in. And just as he did, rip, snap, pop. When Lance came back, there was not a trace of the red mitten left. So sad. Do you see the exclamation mark at the end of that sentence and the exclamation marks at the end of these words? That lets us know that those are sound words. We talked about those in our last story and we see that um, he was he's sad, excited. We see that when we have an exclamation mark. What happened to the mitten? You are right. I think it just popped and I wonder what happened to the animals. Oh, I know you have such great ideas about that and where they went. Mm, you might even write me a letter, a, a note, a journal entry, even though you do not have your journals. You might draw me a picture of what you think that happened to those animals and write me a sentence and send it to me. That would be so good. I would love to see that. Okay, I see one last yellow word. Put your finger under the yellow word and let's spell it together any a n y the sentence read we do not have any space um that's our last uh, sight word for this week but i want you to remember that even though we're not in class i want you to keep going over those because we will have a test on our sight words when we return shortly to school back to school so now can you find another soft c word and maybe a soft G word? Can you put your finger on it? Can you read it to me? Okay, I'm going to pick the word place. That has a soft C at the end. I wonder if any of you chose the word place. Now, I do not see a soft G word on this page. So let's go back and think. I want us to think what happened at the very beginning of the story. See if you have a friend or your parents or grandparents that are sitting by you, if you want to tell them what happened at the beginning of the story, or if you just want to tell the screen, just tell me like you were telling me in class. Yes, Lance got mittens to go out into the cold, his mom thought he would be um, cold. All right, so let's think without turning back, let's see if we remember what happened next. And we know that the little um, mice found a good resting place and the rabbit found a very good hiding place. And then next, what happened? And I bet you are naming all the different animals that appeared and crawled into the mitten and it kept puffing up and up 
and up till we get to the very end. And what was the animal, the last animal that wanted to crawl in? A cricket. That's so funny, isn't it? The smallest little animal. And now let's think what happened at the very last, the very end of the story. And you were right. The mitten popped and Lance did not find his mitten and the animals were gone too. I hope that since you have your book with you, that you will reread this story another day this week to practice your soft C and soft G sounds and to get very good at those. Thank you so much for joining me. I miss you all and I will see you soon.